What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. By now you've heard people win the lottery or invest in something like Bitcoin at $10 and make millions. You ever think about what happens when you go into a thrift store and find a half a million dollar ring for sale for only 13 bucks? Yeah, that actually happens. So today we're showing you five thrift store discoveries that made people rich. Don't forget to drop a like for good luck the next time you go into a thrift store, but let's get right into it. Number five, the $45,000 bag. I get annoyed every time I hear don't judge a book by its cover, because I've heard it so many times. But what about don't judge a bag by its box? The guy in this story didn't, and he ended up with so much money as a result. Here's what happened. He saw a dusty old box in the corner of a UK charity shop, and inside it was a leather handbag in pretty good condition. He decided to keep it, but totally forgot about it for months, until he realized that the label said Philip Treacy. Now, I didn't know this, but just in case you didn't know either, Philip Treacy is a pretty big deal, so he took it to the designer to get it checked. Turns out, not only was it a real designer bag, but it was an Elvis Presley design made by the legendary artist Andy Warhol. In fact, only 10 of that design were ever made in history. Due to its extreme rarity and it literally being a record breaker, it was worth quite a bit. Like its quality and rarity meant it could sell for 350,000 pounds, and if that happens, it will be the most expensive bag ever sold. To put that into perspective, that equates to almost half a million US dollars, so not bad considering he only paid 30 bucks for it in the first place. Number 4. Vince Lombardi Sweater So the people who found this next item are experts in thrifting bargains, and they even run their own store for awesome finds. At the end of the day though, a lot of luck went into this discovery, and it definitely wouldn't have happened if not for a lot of coincidences. So this couple were browsing thrift outlet stores, which is where things end up when even the thrift stores can't sell them. One thing caught their eye, a vintage West Point sweater that could be worth some money if it was fixed up. I mean, at the time it was covered in holes and tears, but they only paid 58 cents for it, so they decided to take it home anyway. As for what happened next, the husband was watching TV when he saw a picture of the legendary football player and coach Vincent Lombardi wearing a super similar sweater to the one they bought. Sure enough, when they checked the tags, there was a name written inside in black marker, and that name was Lombardi. So how much is accidentally owning a piece of football history worth? Well, $41,000 it turns out. Think about that next time you spot a sweater for under a dollar. It could be worth way more than it appears. Just, you know, do some research first. Number 3. Photo of Billy the Kid Billy the Kid is one of history's most famous outlaws, and finding someone who hasn't at least heard of him is pretty hard. With that said, for someone whose name and actions are so famous, what he looks like is kind of a mystery. Only two legitimate photos of him have ever been found, and one of them was found in none other than a thrift shop. Okay, well, I guess not exactly. The photo was actually found in like an antique shop, in a box of old photos that were due to be thrown out. A lifelong collector bought a handful of them and brought them home, and only when he examined them under the microscope did he realize what he had found. He immediately shouted for his wife, who was an expert in old photographs, and between them they identified Billy and his other gang members playing Crockett. Obviously this was more than just a photo, it was a key piece of historical research, so it's no surprise that they're holding on to it until they get the price they deserve, which is somewhere in the range of 5 million dollars. Number 2. Jackson Pollock Painting Some people really get art, but let's be honest, there are people like me out there who really just don't understand it. That's fine, everyone has their hobbies, but sometimes it could lead to some pretty hilarious situations. This lady bought a painting as a joke gift for her friend, since she thought it was so ugly and scary that nobody could possibly want it. And uh, just for the record, she paid around $5 for it. The two friends hung it up and laughed at it, and they were actually going to throw darts at it, but decided to fall asleep instead. Without a second thought, it ended up in her garage, and when she hosted a garage sale, she left it out for people to buy. Luckily, one of the people who stopped by was an art expert, who told her she could have a genuine Jackson Pollock. I'm not even joking, her response is actually now famous. She said, who the f*** is Jackson Pollock? Anyway, when she finally got around to authenticate the painting, she immediately got offers of around $10 million. Now you'd think she'd accept it, but she actually declined them all, and is holding out for a cool $50 million. 
That might sound insane, but in the meantime, she has 10 million she could cash in at any moment, which for five bucks doesn't sound so bad to me. Okay, here's our first honorable mention. Now, a lot of people on this list have found stuff completely accidentally, and it's either stuff they don't care about or fully understand. That's why this next find is so awesome, because the guy who found it knew exactly how much it meant. Basically, the guy was a complete music nut and spent most of his time collecting old records. He even ran a weekly event where he'd play, sell, and show off his collection, while his best friend baked stuff for other collectors to come and enjoy. The hobby was expensive, but could pay off if he found the right things, so obviously he'd love to make it his full-time gig. One day he found an old record for around 50 cents, and took it home without thinking much about it. However, looking closer, he realized it was an old pressing of a band called The Velvet Underground, a pressing literally no one has ever heard. It was the demos for a project they had eventually released with Andy Warhol, but the record itself was one of a kind, and so were the tracks it contained. The happy ending is, he was able to sell the record for $20,000, more than enough money to start up his own record store for real. Talk about luck, right? Okay, here's our second honorable mention. When it comes to expensive jewelry with a hefty price tag, it really doesn't get better than diamonds. With that said, the phrase diamond in the rough exists for a reason, and for this woman, that reason was pretty literal. The story goes, this woman was shopping at a garage sale put on by her local hospital when she noticed a ring. The ring was huge and really, really heavy, and in a blackened setting, that looked almost like a costume piece. To be honest, it looked super cheap, but it was also being sold for 13 bucks, so she figured, why not? Fast forward a couple of months, and she's wearing the ring everywhere, and a friend who's a jeweler suggests that she get it tested. I mean, at this point, obviously she realized she had nothing to lose, so she went ahead and did it, and wow, did she get a surprise. Not only was the diamond real, but it was 27 karat, meaning the cut and color was almost flawless. Not only that, but it was from the 19th century, when different tools were used to cut diamond, which explained the unusual shape. In the end, she sold it for almost half a million dollars, so yeah, talk about profit. Number 1. The Declaration of Independence So the reason most of the things on this list could be sold for so much money is that they were originals, whether that's original bags, records, or photographs. The funny thing about this last item is that it's actually a copy, but it's a copy worth a serious amount of money. What could be so valuable even as a replica? Well, it turns out a lot of things, but in this case, it was the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, you heard me right. This guy found a copy of the Declaration in a thrift shop and bought it for a hefty $2.48. What he didn't realize was that the copy was almost 200 years old and had a valuable story all of its own. The copy was one of 200 commissioned by John Quincy Adams, who was Secretary of State at the time, and was printed by the famous William Stone in 1823. That hiked the value up considerably, leaving him with a copy that could sell for as much as $300,000. Not bad. And there's our video on the top five thrift store discoveries that made people rich. Feel free to comment if you've ever made your own thrift store discovery, and we'll pin one person at the top for everyone to see. Also, if you want to check out yesterday's video where we looked at five celebrities who work normal jobs, do it. You'll see Kevin Jonas' new job, which definitely isn't a pop star. With that said, thanks for watching and keep it here on Top 5 Central.